What's up, everybody? Dan the Man in the house. I want to welcome you back to Dan the Man's Weekly. Today was Monday, June 6, 2022. Now we just entered Tuesday, June 7, 2022. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know it's kind of late, so. <laughs> Alright, um, just to let you know the footage yet again, what you're about to see are scenes of my poetry slam. It takes place on on Mondays of uh, May 23rd and May 30th of Memorial Day. And there's another uh, footage of scenes of my poetry slam. It took place at the Old Sheep Dog Brewery last Thursday, uh, May 26th, for the final Thursdays of the month open mic. Uh, yeah, you'll find out. Okay, well, I think there's maybe something, um, a little, a little, a little, um, a little, uh, a bit of heartbreak, but I guess you're about to find out, and on Memorial Day, yeah. Alright guys, here, take a look. Enjoy. Uh, we come to the end of our night. And we only know one way to end things around here. We bring up our designated closer. If you know, you know. Dan the man. Dan, are you ready? Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> here we go. Okay, yeah, I'm here. All right, Dan, okay. take it away. Yeah. Sorry, my phones keep uh, appearing with this stupid uh, message saying, unfortunately, IMS, LG, IMS has stopped. I don't know what the hell does that mean. I'm, I'm trying to fix a damn thing, huh? Okay. Well, um, I know I didn't say, uh, I know I was going to mention this, but, um, I, I'm just going to say a few words. Um, well, Maybe I'm gonna try a little freestyle. I'm gonna, I'll try. I know uh, some of these tragedies we've been through, like Atlanta, um, uh, Atlanta, um, uh, Orlando, Las Vegas, and especially here at home, and especially Boulder. And there's just last week, uh, a week ago, on this, um, on the week ago, we never experienced tragedy it's, uh, again, and it's Buffalo. Ten lives were lost. One of them was a decorated police officer who retired, and the motivated was hate. God, we are sick and tired of hate. We do not appreciate the hate. We need to eliminate the hate. God, I really hate the hate. We gotta put a stop to the hate once for all. Yeah, yeah this is. Uh, uh, but even though uh, I just want to send uh, my thoughts and prayers, uh, go to my thoughts and prayers is up to the families of the ten, and especially those who are impacted by this uh, tragedy um, about a week ago. Wow, well, I cannot believe we have the same thing. I cannot believe now we have the same motive in common. This is, you know, so uh, even though our thoughts and prayers goes out to, goes out to everybody in Buffalo, New York, it's very sad. So. <sighs> okay. I guess that is it for now. I'll prepare some for Memorial Day next Monday. So. I'm sorry. Alright, let's get ready to get right back to you and uh, don't worry about you all night. Alright, Dan. Uh, that's our, our, our executive producer telling us how to, how to work things. Well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we've come to the end of another in an unending stream of successful and great Monday nights because we are pro Heathcliff and anti Garfield when it comes to cartoon cats and their philosophies. Uh, we believe in making Monday the pillar of the whole week and we hope you will join us this Monday and every Monday right here.
almost at its blackberry left that close uh, right here in the comfort of your own home every Monday at 8 o'clock. And if Richie has any closing words, I'll let him say them right now and we'll end the stream. Ladies and gentlemen, MDs of the night, let's go ahead and welcome Dan the man to the stage. Dan, you can move the mic. I, you guys are moving it in weird places. Okay, who placed the mic here? Crying out loud, Chris. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, how's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. I was thinking of doing uh, comedy, but maybe next time, sorry. <laughs> so, eh. Okay. Well... I'm going to do a little freestyling, um, dealing with loss, because uh, not only uh, Memorial Day is coming, but we remember our, our, our heroes, but uh, we, we want to remember somebody. Uh, yeah, loss, kind of a tragedy, it's real unsteady. And can't just um, can't just be ready. Looks like expect the MS better. It's pretty petty, not pretty. Yeah. And even though I kind of feel I don't know if I, I don't understand nostalgia or something like Flor like Florida, but it's kind of nostalgic. But I don't know how logic, but it's kind of. Tragic, but loss is kind of tragic. So yeah, that's a little person. And uh, man, well, I know uh, I know the past two weeks has been a tough one. Besides our hometown, and something and everything went way down. And. How are we ever going to prevent another tragic loss going down? This is a, this is going to turn our frown. We did. It's it's turning the frowns not upside up but upside down. We're still frowning because of Buffalo and just two days ago, Ovalle. God rest our souls. <sighs> to the Eagles, there's a hole in the heart, and Eric Clapton, tears in heaven. But, um, we want to remember them. We want to remember the victims, how they lived their perfect lives. And, it was like years of five. But, after two long years, We've lost a million. Now it's a million more lives lost to COVID right here in the U.S. Um, we want to remember that. But we want to remember the victim. And, uh, we want to remember those we've lost. And uh, remember, remember them. That they lived a good life. Sorry, it's too flowing. <laughs> So uh, our thoughts and prayers goes out to them. Our thoughts and prayers goes out to the families, to the cities, to um, to those who are impacted. Just um, just say uh, not only El Paso strong, but like Las Vegas strong, Orlando strong, Atlanta strong, Boulder strong, among other strongs. I want to say Buffalo strong. Uvani Strong. Okay, thank you. And let's keep praying for them. And also, um, remembering the million lives uh, right here in the U.S. lost to COVID. Our thoughts and prayers with them. So, I want to say a million strong to them, to the families. Alright, I guess uh, that is my time. Hope you guys have a safe and uh, safe, happy Memorial Day. God help us all. Thank you. Alrighty then. 
Dan always have an end in a sober note. A somber note. Damn. Um, yeah, so sometimes I gotta encourage him to share more poetry. He has a video, he has a vlog where he updates on the news and stuff. Trevor Hoffman would come out to Hell's, Hell's Bells, I think, right? ACDC? It was something like that. Uh, but, speaking of closers and theme songs, our next one kind of has a theme song when I have my looper. But, without further ado, let's go ahead. He's, wa he's ready. He's waiting. He is the secret producer of the show. He's pulling all the strings, calling all the shots. Uh, let's go ahead and welcome back to the mic, Dan the Man. Dan the Man. Go ahead and take it away. Uh, hello. hello. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Dan. Dan. Go ahead and take it away, and then so you can give it back to me so I can close out the night. Okay. I'm sorry? No, I'm just I'm just thinking a couple moves ahead. Eh, uh, okay. Uh, this is what we're doing tonight. Well, I know it's Memorial Day, and, um, yeah, because that's what, um, today we honor and pay tribute to the fallen heroes that we remember. So, but, um, we also want to pay tribute to, uh, to the doctors and the nurses, frontliners from last year, for the past two years since the pandemic started. Yeah. And um, there's only, there's also, right, there's also, uh, this one's from last Thursday. Well, I just want you to know, last Thursday marked my two year anniversary, not no, my, I'm sorry, marked my 20 year anniversary of. Franklin High School, class of 2002, where I graduated, and after four long years, so, hmm. yeah, so I was going to say, uh, happy, happy anniversary to my fellow graduates, uh, yes, go Cougars, <laughs> yeah, Franklin High School, class of 2002, <laughs> go Cougars, <laughs> all right, and since, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> And since uh, today is Memorial Day, I'm going to read something like some, like say, Memorial Day, like two years ago, last year, and now this year. <clears throat> yeah, Memorial Day, last year, well, two years ago, last year, this year. I always know Memorial Day, the last Monday of the fourth or fifth month of the every single year of Memorial Day, of, in the month of, in the fifth month. Sorry, hold on. I always know Memorial Day is at the last Monday of the fifth month in every single year. Yeah, Memorial. Well, two years ago was the toughest because of fear of COVID-19. Loss was near, so society was keen. Well, last year was not keen. We remember those we've lost both last year and this year during COVID-19. Well, as we know, just a couple, just two weeks ago, um, uh, the U.S. lost more than a million to loss to COVID. God rest your souls. But, um, yeah. Well, we might, we remember them, we might know them, but we don't know them. I want to remember them, and we want to remember as one of our own, our fellow people, our fellow friends, our fellow neighbors. Yeah, but we miss them. They miss them, friends miss them, family miss them. They are gone but not forgotten, remembered and honored. Just like how we remember our fallen heroes, soldiers, law enforcement, firefighters, doctors, those among the fallen. But now, well, the real heroes were the frontliners like COVID-19, like paramedics, doctors, nurses, healthcare workers, those who never gave up saving lives during the time of crisis. Well, they are gone, but never forgotten. Well, they are gone, but never forgotten. Well, just like last week, um, just like last week, we lost 21, and back and back at Buffalo, Atlanta, Boulder, and two of them were police officers. But we want to remember them. They were heroes. And remember our fallen heroes. Those we know, those we don't know, always be remembered, especially right here in El Paso, 23. Well, 
that's what we see. Lost in our city. El Paso strong, especially especially those we lost. Las Vegas, Orlando, Columbine. We want to remember them. They're gone, but not forgotten. But there's, well, we know two years ago, we've lost George Floyd. It was also the person we remembered. I know he died two years ago on the day of Memorial Day. The day has impacted the nation and society forever. But we did know Black Lives Matter, George Floyd matters. So did Ar Armand Aubrey and Dante Wright. But we did got, we did our answers. We did want pray one day for justice. Finally, our answers are prayer. We did got justice for George Floyd. We remember him and honor him on the Memorial Day. And that includes Dante Wright and Armand Aubrey. And yes, Black Lives Matter. Well, it was a bit of a tough two years that we're still going through. I don't know how we're gonna end, ever. I don't know how we're gonna ever gonna get back to normal. But it looks like I don't know if it's still normal. But we also want to praise Ukraine as well. So pray for Ukraine. But this is Memorial Day. Well, for the past two years now. Those were the day we remember those who are no longer with us, but they're in spirit. Always with us. Still, they are gone, but not forgotten. Still remembered and honored on Memorial Day. Yes. Yeah. Here we, here we honor Today's Memorial Day. Yeah. I'll go to the next one. Um, okay. Last Thursday, um, we did celebrate Red Nose Day. Yeah. That's my next poetry. Uh, from last Thursday. Red Nose Day. What is Red Nose Day? It is a day something special to say. It is for a clown, for a circus coming to town. Uh, no, 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 not that day. Why we were, were, it were the Red Nose? Not to strike a pose. The, where the day goes, who knows? Something about the Red Nose. You want to know why we wear the Red Nose? It's because something we represent a big cause to help the children. Yes, think of the children. It is a day we want the children to play, to go somewhere, to go to school, to get them, to get help them have, have a better education, better home, better future, better life. It's all about the children all over the world at bay. Who knows? The red nose represent a big cause to help the children. And yes, think of the children, think of the children, to help all over the world. We want to help the children. So someone we know, someone we don't know. It's a big cause to help end child poverty all over the world, all over the U.S. Yep, because it, that's a priority, the main ration. Make a blissful donation for the cause to help end child poverty one nose at a time. Round of applause. Therefore, on the last Thursday of the fifth month of every year, noses on for Red Nose Day. Which was last Thursday. All right, y'all think. You just keep, keep rocking the nose, man. Thank you. And the shades. Also, we're looking forward for next year, 2023, Red Nose Day. Yeah. So where can we find you online? All right up. All right, guys. Here it is. We didn't weep it. Uh, find me on Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, I'm behind. I'm behind posts. So uh, and find and find the Animans Weekly on Facebook. Well, find it on YouTube. Okay. All right, guys. And uh, don't get the hashtag. And those of you who are new, please screenshot this if you get the chance. All right, guys. Um, I say happy Memorial Day and. Um, 
So, um, uh, and always our thoughts and prayers is out to the families. Okay. All right, Richie. Um, let's go ahead and close it at night. Mm-hmm. All right. Dan, you quit. You, uh, yeah, had a, quite a bit there to cover. So, uh, check out the Demands Weekly. It's an extended version of that. Mm-hmm. Very extended version. Uh, but, yeah, and also change your, change your uh, smoke alarm, man. It got me this time. It got to me. I couldn't concentrate. Um, okay. Anyway, appreciate the words as always. Uh, and as always, for people tuning in, YouTube, shout out to everyone who tuned in, left a comment. If you're watching this after and you're still watching, thank you guys so much. Yep, that was scenes of my poetry slam for the for the last two Mondays and uh, and last Thursday. So, yeah, but uh, I know um, and I know it's been a tough couple of weeks. Uh, what happened? I was mentioning Buffalo and yeah, but it was caused by hate and it was very sad about what happened. And um, as always, my thoughts and prayers is out to the people in Buffalo. And yeah, and it, it kind of broke our hearts what happened in Mbade and um, that 21 lives were lost. It was very sad. Always, my, always our thoughts and prayers is out to the people of Mbade. Yes, and even though I was mentioning, uh, I was mentioning Las Vegas, Orlando. Um, Columbine, um, right here in El Paso. Yeah. And, um, but even though, and as always, how we're going to put a stop to the co to the how we're gonna put a stop to this madness? Like how we're gonna prevent another massacre like this? That's why I've been mentioning. So, yeah. And um, even though I also mentioned uh, a million lives lost uh, to COVID right here in the U.S. and always our thoughts and prayers goes out to them. So, but man, it it, it was very sad. So, yeah, we how, how many lives were lost. Um, yeah, it, it kind of broke our hearts. You know. I just could not believe this. Well, and um, on Memorial Day, I was mentioning uh, how we we remember our heroes and like not only Army, Air Force, Navy, Air uh, Marines, and um, and uh, especially Coast Guards, but we also law enforcement and um, especially uh, frontliners during the COVID nineteen. Yeah. And we also want to remember. Um, we also want to remember um, the 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 lives we've lost for the past few weeks and the couple of weeks. I'm sorry, and and um, yeah, that's very sad. And um, yeah, and we also mentioned about Memorial Day. How can we remember those we've lost and and remember our heroes? So that's how we do Memorial Day. Yeah, so, and I was also mentioning about Red Nose Day. Yeah, so, <laughs> all right. Okay, and um, I guess that is it for right now. Um, I will get to uh, the first week of June ASAP, and because earlier today is Richie's birthday, so, yep, happy birthday, Richie. Okay. Also, uh, shout out to Kit Ran who hosted on the one on the twenty third. So, shout out to you, Kit. And those who were here uh, the past two weeks, and for those who were at the at the um, at the old cheap dog brewery.
Yeah. Okay. Uh, be aware of my uh, upcoming scene, uh, uh, regular blog. Um, uh, ASAPO. We'll keep you posted. Okay. All right. I gotta get some sleep. Y'all know what to do. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Message me. Like my page on Facebook. Be sure to subscribe me on YouTube. Hashtag Dan Demands Weekly. Thanks all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, this is Dan the Man Tennessee. Signing out.